Hey, this is Penny Rafferty, and I'm super excited to tell you we're going to call this particular video, Let There Be Light. We have passed all the inspections. We're now doing some QC, which stands for Quality Control. We have the lights on, which we didn't have last time. Um, what they didn't do is they haven't added my Margaritaville glasses, so I, I bought the upside down pendant lights. They're not added yet. But some of the things that are new since last week, and for those of you who've been following along on my journey, my slab was poured the last week of December. This is the last full week of May. So I have baseboard, I have trim on my windows, all of my lights are on, I have air conditioning, super excited about that. The stove, they haven't put the stove in, but they put the microwave in. I'm excited to say that they put in the other cabinet lights, and again, they put in the overhead lights. I think that that's very important. They've done all of the painting, the floors down, and now again, we're just doing quality control. So this is the end of May. It's the Tuesday after Labor Day, or Tuesday after Memorial Day. We got the call. We're going to do our final walk through July 10th, and then we'll close the following week. Um, so we're really just about six weeks out before they're done, which totally freaks me out because now I have to, as I told you last time, I didn't pay for these, so now I've had to have the blind guy come, and he's had to measure, so we're going to get the two-inch full wood mini blinds. I have to go to Home Depot and buy ceiling fans, and we still need a refrigerator, washer, dryer. And so those are still some of the components that we need. So when you're thinking about should I buy them or should I add them into the price of the home, keep in mind that you pay property taxes on the final purchase price of your home. So for math purposes, if it's your primary residence and you pay $400,000 for your home, you pay approximately 1.5% of the purchase price. So keep that in mind. If you can pay for some of these outside of closing and you just really don't want to stop, drop, and roll, some of the things you can do after closing are mini blinds, the screened-in porch. If you want, you can put in your own um, backsplash. You can put in ceiling fans, chandeliers. I always say, if you watched before, if we accepted this faucet, it's a perfectly fine faucet, it's a moment faucet. We accepted the knobs, they're perfectly fine knobs. If you don't like them, you can change them out later. They were included in the price. I say three, but they're probably built into the price. So, we're getting towards the end of my journey as far as building goes. The grass is on the outside, the HVAC is on, and again, we're just on quality control. So if I can answer any questions for you, reach out to me. My name is Penny Rafferty. Happy to answer any question about your journey. And also keep in mind one more thing. This bamboo is for rent starting August 1st. So we're excited. It's a great time to move in because we're close to the Blue Bamboo Guitar Park. And then also, I guess it's the Blue Guitar Park. Um, but come down here, rent. This is gonna be an unfurnished rental. You can watch your house being built. You can make friends with the neighbors. We have neighbors coming in every single day. You can come in, make friends with your neighbors, go to the band show, listen to the music, go to the pool, start working out, start living your Margaritaville lifestyle. Now, I think you'll be glad that you did. So my name is Penny Rafferty. Reach out to me if I can help you. You'll be glad you did.